What is up guys? I am here with my WWE Survivor Series 2012 pay-per-view predictions. Survivor Series is live on pay-per-view tomorrow night. Overall, like I say, this show, you know, just because Survivor Series I'm looking forward to it, because for those of you who do not know, Survivor Series is my favorite pay-per-view that I look forward to every year. That's the main reason why I'm looking forward to this year, because this year just, honestly, this is just a pay-per-view where it's easily just thrown together, because at first it started seeming like you know, something really good, like the first traditional Survivor Series elimination match, you know, Team Punk versus Team Foley. Uh, that would make sense because all the matches in there were all feuds. But now that everything's been changed, it's the whole card seems kind of like messed up. Uh, especially with the three weeks build, didn't help at all. Honestly, in my opinion, this pay-per-view honestly only got like one week to hold because there's only one live show going to the pay-per-view. I don't count the shows after pay-per-view because a Raw after pay-per-view or a SmackDown is like the aftermath of the last pay-per-view. And it's like, uh, they're basically creating what to expect going to the next pay-per-view. So honestly, I honestly don't count the first week as build for a pay-per-view. So they've only had two weeks to build a show in my eyes. And one week was just taped shows. And the next week was taped uh, SmackDown and Raw. So it was like, you don't really have enough time to build. And they spent six weeks building Hell in a Cell, which that show wasn't even that good. And the build wasn't that good either. So this show was like... You know, it's kind of like, you don't know what to expect. You know, it could be a good show, it can be a bad show. You don't know what the hell to expect going into the show in my eyes. So, just for facts, Survivor Series, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we have six matches scheduled on the card. However, only five will be featured on the main card. Because we do have the uh, pre-show match, which will take place uh, 30 minutes prior to the pay-per-view. Of course, we will have two members of 3MB versus Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd. It, it's uh, not confirmed with three... Uh, two members will represent 3MB. I'm assuming uh, Heath Slater and Jinder Mahal. But that match should be should be a good match, I think. It'll be good. And then we're going to the main card. We will have... Hold on. Oh, four title matches. I don't think I have any title matches. I don't know why. It's only five matches. And four of them are title matches. Go figure. You will have the Divas Championship on the line. You will also have the United States Championship on the line. Which is good to see. Because Antonio Cesaro is the man, of course. You will have the World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Uh, you have a traditional Survivor Series elimination match. Team Foley versus Team Ziggler, which should hopefully be good. Also, Cody Rhodes' status in the match is unknown at this point. It's not certain if he'll be in the match or if he'll be replaced before the pay-per-view. So, uh, you'll hear if he's officially in the match or not. Probably during the pay-per-view or on the pre-show or something. So... Look out for that. And of course, now the main event will be a triple threat match. Uh, CM Punk defending his 343 day currently reign as WWE Champion against not only John Cena but Ryback as well. So, overall, this pay per view, not going into it with a lot of expectations. Like I said, I'm more looking forward to it mainly because Survivor Street is my favorite pay per view. So, I'll have to wait and see how this pay per view turns out to really give a final judgment on it. So, Love me rambling on, and let's get to the predictions because this is why you guys clicked on the videos to see my predictions for the show. Two members of 3MB versus Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd. Um, I think Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd are going to pull up the win here. You know, Justin Gabriel's been on a roll lately, and I don't know why they'd stop his momentum here, especially since his team with uh, Tyson Kidd that brings some momentum for Kidd too. 3MB's been on a roll lately as well. I don't think a uh, lose here would really uh, hurt them that much. But this should be a good match, but I do think Justin Gabriel and Tyson Kidd will come out with the victory here in this match. So, Kidd and Gabriel. United States Championship match. United States Champion Antonio Cesaro versus R-Truth. Uh, pretty simple. Antonio Cesaro to retain here. I think it would be very, very dumb to have R-Truth win. It wouldn't make any sense at all, in my opinion. Uh, Cesaro has been a great United States Champion. He's been on a great roll since winning that championship. And I think it would be very, very uh, dumb of them to stop his momentum here. He's definitely a future world champion, so keep his momentum rolling as U.S. champion. He's doing a great job so far, so still, United States champion, Antonio Cesaro. Divas championship match, Divas champion Eve versus Caitlyn. Um, I think Eve's going to retain here. I do definitely think Caitlyn is a future Divas champion, but I do not think she'll be the next Divas champion. I think that uh, will go to AJ. And hopefully this match is good. I saw this match live on Raw I went to last month. And it was a pretty good match, so hopefully this match is good. But like I said, my pick here is for uh, Eve to retain the Divas Championship. Traditional Survivor Series elimination match. 
Team Foley being represented by Team Hell No, The Miz, Kofi Kingston, and Randy Orton, versus Team Ziggler being represented by Dolph Ziggler, Team Road Scholars, Wade Barrett, and Alberto Del Rio. In this match, I do think that Team Foley will come out with the win here. The only way I can see Team uh, Ziggler winning is if Randy Orton just turns on everyone on his team, which I don't think they'll do. Uh, this should be a great Survivor Series match overall. Cody Rhodes' condition is unknown for, on this match right now, but it should be good. I do think uh, Miz will be the sole survivor in this match. I think he'll end up pinning Ziggler at the end to win. So uh, my pick here is Team Foley to win this match. World Heavyweight Championship match. World Heavyweight Champion The Big Show versus Sheamus. Um, I think this match may have a stipulation added to it, like uh, how Brian and Punk got a stipulation added before their match, so the possibility of stipulation could be added. I think this match will be good. I do think there's a huge possibility Dolph Ziggler could cash in after this match. I can easily see the Big Show retaining here, which I do think Big Show will retain. Uh, Sheamus getting mad and broke him or something, and Ziggler just runs out and cashes in. But I do hope Ziggler does cash in this match. I really do. I don't like seeing Big Show as champion at all. I don't like seeing a big, him being champion with anything. But I do think Big Show will retain here, and hopefully a pretty good match. Then the main event, triple threat match for the WWE Championship. WWE Champion CM Punk vs. Ryback vs. John Cena. I do think... Uh, CM Punk will walk out of this match, the WWE Champion still. I think it'll be very, very pointless for him to lose a championship. Wouldn't make any sense at all, in my opinion. I do think that he'll pin Cena. I think Ryback and Cena will pick her who's going to pinfall. And Ryback, you know, will hit like a shell shock and Cena or something, and Punk will capitalize and get the pin and retain the championship. But either way, hopefully this is a good match. I'm looking forward to it. It should be good. And like I said, hopefully uh, CM Punk walks out still, the WWE Champion in this match. So, see you in part. Alright guys, that was my predictions for Survivor Series. Survivor Series will be live pay-per-view pay tomorrow night. And, like I said, just looking forward to the Survivor Series. I'm not going to go into it with any expectations whatsoever. So, it's going to be, hopefully it's a good show. If it's not, whatever, it'll be disappointing because of Survivor Series. Survivor Series is my favorite pay-per-view, so if it's not good, it kind of sucks. But, oh well. But, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'm out guys. Later. See you at the pay-per-view tomorrow night.